What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Ducky 1-2 keyboard, uh, the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard, um, with some custom keycaps, and they are colored but not rubberized, uh, so they are the same texture and feel as the default keys. Um, I had some trouble doing some OBS recording, so as you can see I've already started, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to be adding uh, the O-rings to the back of the custom keycaps, which are these little blue rings that you add onto the back to help dampen and, and lower the sound and the feel of it. Um, and I'll show you here is are the uh, are the keycaps that I'll be um, that I'll be adding on, and I've added the O-rings. Um, and I'll actually just show you how simple it is. Um, so that's what the key looks like um, at the start, the O-ring. Um, and as all you do is just put it on, give it a little push, uh, and that's all you have to do that, to add it on. Um, and all you'll need for this is obviously keycaps that'll fit for the certain keyboard that you're doing, so this doesn't pertain only to the Ducky, but it's the one that I'm doing. Uh, you'll need a keycap puller. Uh, this actually came with the keyboard. Um, you could use something like a credit card, uh, your license, gift cards, but you have a chance of actually breaking the keycap and the switch. So I'd recommend getting one of these. It's very simple to do. And um, I'll show you the brand that I, I'm using. Uh, it's called Akko, and it's the Joker set. So this is actually the same set that Tifu has, except for the rubberized keycaps that he uses uh, for the, the keybinds he uses for Fortnite. So. Um, like I said, these are not rubberized, um, and I bought these off eBay for about $70, so they were a pretty expensive set, but hopefully it'll make it look good. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just show you actually how to pull off um, some of the keys here. And you're just going to want to put this around uh, so it's catching on all four corners, and you're going to want to pull straight up. And it's as simple as that. So as you can see, default looks just like uh, the, the custom keycap, and you'll see the uh, the brown switch there. And uh, so all you'll do is you'll take the E key, make sure that the O-ring is on the back of it. Let's see E, and you're just going to put it on as straight as you possibly can, and just push. You'll start to feel it glide down a little bit, and it's as simple as that. So what I'll do is I'll go through. Customize the whole board. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments regarding. Guys, I would like to add that I, I have already, um, you know, I've already added the O-rings to all the keys in advance to this video. Um, just in case you think I'm adding them all on without putting the O-rings, I just wanted to be kind of quick with the uh, with the time lapse. So save me a little bit of time of putting on the O-rings on all the keys beforehand. So. So as you can see, um, some of the keys, like the shift keys, enter keys, backspace, they have three uh, pieces to it. Um, 
Now I put O-rings, dampeners on uh, on all three, which I don't think I need, but I'm doing it just in case. Um, but for these, when you're pulling it, just this is another one, and especially for the space bar, as it has them, the switches spread out. So you have one one switch here, and you can actually see a little glimpse of it. Um, but they have other ones here, which are kind of like gliders to bring it down. So just be careful as you're pulling it out. Um, and when you are pulling on any of these keys, you're gonna put a, you, you're gonna want to put a little bit of force into pulling it. Uh, but if you feel like you're you're unnecessarily you know pulling way too hard, um, then you might be you might not be pulling it right, or uh, you might be actually grabbing a switch from underneath. So, like I said, you can be pulling it, you know, a little bit hard to get it off. But if you think you're doing it too much, then you might be doing it wrong. So as you guys can see, um, the only downfall to these keys are that the LED light doesn't come through the actual letter, but the backlit on these are it, it, on this keyboard itself is is uh, pretty amazing. So uh, the color actually came out better than I expected, so I'm very happy with this. Um, and I could definitely do another video about how to really customize your keycaps. I did a video, if you want to check that out, the link is in the description about how to actually change the different settings by just holding function alt and t and you go through the different um the different presets that you could have so um this is the finished product uh i think it looks awesome i'm very happy with it um the only key i might change your or key but i'm not sure yet is this escape key so it's the duck symbol um but overall very happy with how it came out if you guys have any questions um, leave it in the comments below and if you hope to see more videos about this keyboard or anything about the functionality of it LED lights um, and, and you know any more questions about, about the actual keycaps itself let me know um, thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos peace